How many atoms of each element are in NaHCO3, or sodium bicarbonate, or baking soda? The thing that you'll need to know if you're asking this question is that a new element always starts with a capital letter. And so each time you see a capital letter, that's how you know it's a new element compared to the letters before it. Capital letters are the ones that we say are in uppercase. Na is a single element here. That's a sodium atom. Capital H is its own element here. That happens to be hydrogen. This is another capital letter. That's another new element. And this O is also a capital letter. That C was a carbon. That O was an oxygen. Now, the last thing you'll have to know is that if there's no subscript and the, the subscripts are the numbers that are written kind of down and smaller to the right of each of these symbols. If there's no subscript written, then it represents a one. Similar to how in math, if you have an X there, it's always one X. If there were no Xs, you wouldn't have written the X in the first place. So how many NAs do we have here? The subscript, which is not written, tells us that we have one of them. Now, I'm going to physically write it there for you. How many H's are there? Well, there's no subscript, so it's one. How many C's are there? Well, there's no subscript, so it's one. How many O's are there? Well, there is a subscript there. It's three, which tells us we have three O's. So the answer to the question, how many atoms of each element are in it, is that we have one sodium atom, Na. We have one capital H. We have one capital C and we have three capital O's. You can convert these to the names if you have a periodic table with you. You can say there's one sodium, one hydrogen, one carbon, and one or three oxygens, which is six atoms total. So to summarize, new elements will always start with a capital letter. So if you have a lowercase letter, it's part of like a it's bundled with the capital letter that preceded it. And if there are no subscripts written down and to the right of each of the elements, it's a one. The same way there's a hidden one in front of every X in algebra. Hey, thanks for being with me and best of luck.